What's going on guys and welcome to another YouTube video on my channel. I'm so happy to show you this video because we're gonna go behind the scenes on one of the best commercials I shot recently and it's with bikes. It is with the things I love the most and to be honest I think it turned out pretty cool. So let's see the commercial first and then we're gonna go deep dive into behind the scenes. So guys, let me know what you think about this commercial in the comments down below. I'm super curious about your opinion and what you thought about it. To be honest, I'm very excited with it and I think it turned out pretty good, but I'm really curious what you guys think. So now let's go behind the scenes and show you guys what we did in order to make this commercial work. Unfortunately, uh, I know you guys are used to having a lot of behind the scenes footage, but on this one, I don't have that much, but what I have is pretty good. So we're gonna take a look at what we have and I'm gonna talk about everything you need to know. So we're gonna start things off with a few things. So my camera and what I did in order to shoot this commercial. So I had my Sony FX6 with a 35 millimeter from Canon and I shot everything at f1.4. Uh, I don't know why, I wanted to have this beautiful shallow depth of field and everything and I shot everything handheld with the Sony FX6 and on the other hand I had my Sony a7S III on a gimbal with the 24 to 70 f2.8 from Sony and um, I had this uh, dual camera setup where one was for handheld shooting and the other one was for gimbal stuff. And to be honest, we shot 30% handheld and 70% gimbal because it's a, it's a bike, you, we have a lot of shots in the movement, we have a lot of shots um, that require filming on a gimbal. So let's take a look at some of the behind the scenes. So here you can see me talking with Tudor, um, directing the shots and making sure everything is fine. Um, as you see, I like to move the camera a lot when filming and that is because I like to have implied action. So why I do this is because whenever I'm filming and I don't see the shot so intense, I like to intensify it myself uh, by moving the camera. So this way you kind of intensify the action and it's called implied action. So uh, this is what I do. Uh, you will take a look at the shots, you will see exactly what I mean. Um, I filmed everything at 25 FPS. There is no slow motion in here. Uh, as you've seen, the whole video doesn't have slow motion. Did you feel the need to see slow motion or not? I honestly forced myself to not film slow motion just to make this more um, intense, just to have a more um, dramatic editing and more, like let's say, not dramatic. I wanted to have a more intense edit. I think there is a word, but I don't have it in my mind. But moving forward, um, attaching this uh, big boxing bag was a little bit hard and after a few punches, it went on the floor. So I had this idea to film it while it goes down and put some dust on it and I don't know, make a cool shot as you've seen. One of the things that you might see in the video is that there's a lot of light in that hall. So how did we get to have this 
uh, more dark and moody uh, scenario. So uh, I kind of search for spots in the big hall where there's not so much light and I put light my own in order to create more contrast and in order to play more with the shadows and highlights. As you see here, I put my Nanolite Forza 60B with the projector lens in front and whenever I shoot with the projector lens, that projector lens makes the beam so much harder. So it makes your uh, light streak more obvious. So that's why I use it a lot. Having that Forza 60B with a projector lens and a V-mount battery, you can take this anywhere. And because of the projector lens and uh, because the beam gets focused so much, you can use this even in outdoors, even in bright light to shape, shape your light on subjects or create shadows or anything like that. So it is a really powerful setup like that. In the background, I have a mix panel 160 set up on red and it's running on V-mount batteries. One of the things I like whenever I'm on set is to have lights that work on battery and that is because I don't like to get my attention away from creating so I put my all my lights on batteries because I like to be fast and if I need something in a place I just can go put it there I don't have to struggle with bringing cables uh, finding power management and all that so batteries on lights it is a really good uh, investment and it's a really good thing to have on set also it's a really good thing to have haze on set because haze makes everything more interesting so uh, yeah it is it is where it is but the the footage looks amazing now we're moving to the next shots where i wanted to have a two door our actor to make some pull-ups and um, just see his muscle on the back and see his strength because the whole video is all about power. You, you see the bike going fast, you see the bike going in one wheel, then you see our uh, actor doing boxing, making pull-ups. So it all takes your mind towards the idea of power. And that's what we wanted to um, show towards our audience that the bike is really powerful. So um, we have a Pavel tube there, uh, feeling a little bit of light. And from up top, I have the uh, Forza 60B with the projector lens that is making this really beautiful um, light strikes that I really love seeing. So, and moving on to the part where we used fire. So I never used fire until now on set. So we were kind of stressed about uh, what if we burn the whole building down or anything like that. So when we went to search for liquids in order to um, make our fire circle, we searched for liquids that have a slow burning rate. So we found like a torch liquid. We also bought some gas, but whenever gas burns, it also makes a lot of smoke. So we did a little bit of testing before and realized that gas is not a good option because it's also very dangerous. With the torch liquid, whenever you light that thing up, it, it, it gradually starts increasing in intensity. But we guess is you light it up and boom, it explodes. So uh, we had a rope on the floor and we put that liquid on the rope, we light it up and we had like 10 minutes of fire. So it wasn't so bad, but regarding our lighting setup here, I used a mix panel 160. I set it up on blue and I had my projector lens hitting on the bike to create that beautiful shadow. So the blue is, why I chose to use blue, it is because Whenever you shoot, you have to think about this. Cameras don't see as uh, our eyes do. So when you kind of want to have darkness in a shot, you have to have some kind of light there in order to have good quality. And we perceive as viewers darkness as something that is a little bit more dark to the color, but blue is perceived as the moonlight. So that's why I chose to use blue. 
also looks cool with the fire blue and fire that it's orange has a really nice color contrast so uh, i think it turned out pretty nice so unfortunately this is what i have when it comes to behind the scenes but we're gonna go more into the behind the scenes so i'm gonna scroll through the footage and I'm gonna talk about how we shot different things. Also, there is a shot where Tudor is lifting a big tire um, there to make this dust moving on. We had like this wind machine that makes um, a lot of wind. So we were pushing the dust from the floor and all the paper towards him with that wind machine. And we kind of created this really intense effect, which I love. Um, then, for the shots with the bike um, because we had the room filled with so much haze we actually had the sun popping into the big hall so it was creating this beautiful effect going on so we took advantage of that and we chose to film a lot of stuff with natural light so the shots where I do drifting with a bike and everything like that it is uh, without lights so it looks really cool um, and yeah I'm also the rider riding the bike so I'm also a stunt driver I do a lot of stunts with bikes and all that so whenever we film things like this I take control of the bike and do a lot of crazy things so also the wheelies and all that so overall I think this is it if you guys have more curiosity about how we shot some of the things here write them down in the comments and i'm gonna try my best to answer each and every one of them so i can be useful because maybe there are some of the things here that i don't see complicated and you guys are curious on how we shot it so uh, hit me up with comments and hopefully you enjoyed this behind the scenes also um i wish i had more behind the scenes footage so we can talk more to the point but it is what it is <laughs> so thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned because i have more videos coming up with behind the scenes where i actually shot more behind the scenes so until next time thanks a lot for watching make sure to have some fun go out create some epic content and be safe cheers mm -hmm.